Hi, it's a soft cell electrical. I'm your host, you can call me Chris. So I'd like to welcome you to episode number 17. And remember, this is the electrical test prep. So have your book ready, take notes, okay? Because we will be watching you. In this episode, I composed a test on article 225, outside branch circuits and feeders. And remember, that the answers to all these questions can always be found in the article or table listed at the bottom of the screen. So let's get started. This will be entirely a true and false test. Number one, overhead conductors will be insulated when they are within 12 feet of a building or structure. Number two, raceways and their fittings must be rated to be used with power poles. Number three. Conductors not exceeding 150 volts and accessible only to pedestrians must be at least 12 feet in height. Number four. Conductors that feed services do not require mechanical protection. Number five. A tree with a trunk diameter of 12 inches may be used to mount lights or service conductors. Number six, identical service feeders may be isolated under special conditions. Number seven, a means of disconnection must be provided for all energized or ungrounded conductors that pass through a building or structure. Number eight, service groupings or enclosures will not exceed a total of eight disconnects or panel metering devices. Number nine, in a multi-metered building, each disconnect must be labeled to indicate the load it feeds. Number 10. The means of disconnection on a multifamily building will only be accessible to qualified personnel. Number 11. At all main services or feeders, the disconnect load will be universally identified. Number 12. In a large capacity multi-building complex, Disconnections do not need to be labeled. Number 13. The disconnect position will be identifiable as to whether it is dead or energized. Number 14. The minimum service size for any dwelling will be 200 amps. Number 15. The minimum service for any building is 100 amps. Number 16. It is permissible to be able to lock a service in the open or off position. Number 17. All remote control disconnects must be pre-tested before they are put into use. Number 18, danger, high voltage warning signs must be posted every 10 feet where high voltage could be encountered. That concludes your test on article 225 and combined with the previous video with the visual aids, you should have a very easy time navigating article 225 when looking for any information that may be presented on a test that you take. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching and have a great day.